Thank you very much, Bosang, for kind introduction. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Koji Sudioka uh, from Wiken. And first of all, uh, I'd like to thank uh, the uh, ladies symposium uh, chairs and the co chairs uh, for inviting me uh, to this plenary session. So, uh, last week, uh, our institute was very, very excited uh, because the uh, very young uh, female scientists in our institute uh, developed a new technique. Uh, creating the uh, new, completely new type of the uh, stem cell, uh, named uh, STAP. Uh, anyway, so uh, today it's my great pleasure uh, to give a talk uh, entitled uh, Phoenix Canvas Three Dimensional Micro Machining and its applications to the uh, biochip fabrication. Okay, so here uh, I show the uh, contents of my talk. Uh, first, uh, I'll give you a brief introduction uh, about the uh, features of the uh, Phoenix Canvas processing and also uh, explain the, uh, about the uh, biomicrochips. And then uh, I'll show you uh, our technique, uh, of the uh, famous Carvesa three-dimensional micro-machining uh, for uh, fabrication of the functional biochips, uh, such as the uh, microfluidics and the optofluidics, and also the uh, nano uh, nano is the uh, biochip uh, uh, for the uh, dynamic observ observation and the de uh, determination of the functions uh, of the uh, microorganisms. And then, uh, to enhance the functionalities uh, of the biochip, uh, I propose a uh, new strategy, uh, which is called uh, hybrid uh, film scan laser processing. Uh, this uh, hybrid technology, uh, I was asked uh, to uh, integrate the uh, uh, functional microcomponents uh, made on, uh, of the poly polymer, uh, such as the uh, microfilters, uh, micromixers, and the micro uh, lens arrays uh, into the uh, three dimensional uh, glass microfluidics. And also, uh, I'll give the, uh, our future direction uh, of this project, uh, which is the uh, true three dimensional uh, multi layered uh, biochip. And finally, uh, I'll summarize my talk. Okay, so here, uh, I, I summarize the uh, filters of the uh, famous conversion processing. Uh, the wavelengths uh, of the famous, famous conversion typically used uh, for the material processing is around uh, 800 nanometer uh, to the uh, one micron. And as, as its name suggests, uh, famous scan laser uh, emits the uh, short pulse width uh, of the around 100 uh, famous scan. Um, due to the uh, such ultra short pulse width, uh, peak intensity in of the uh, focused uh, famous scan laser beam can easily exceed 10 to 15 watt per square centimeters. Uh, uh, such a such unique characteristics uh, of the film scan laser uh, can bring about the uh, very interesting features uh, in the uh, material processing. Uh, namely, uh, the uh, ultra short pulse width uh, of the film scan laser uh, can minimize the formation uh, of the heat affected zone at the process, processed regions, uh, resulting in the uh, 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 high, high quality micro and nano fabrication uh, of the variety of the materials. Uh, furthermore, uh, the uh, extremely high peak intensity uh, can induce the uh, uh, nonlinear uh, multi-photon absorption uh, even inside the transparent mat uh, even in the transparent materials, and uh, thus the uh, film scan laser can process uh, the uh, transparent even the transparent materials with a very high quality. And here, uh, if we focus uh, the uh, film scan laser beam at an adequate pulse energy uh, inside the uh, transparent material like this. Uh, internal modification and the three-dimensional fabrication uh, of the transparent materials, uh, such as glass, uh, can be performed. Uh, by using this uh, feature, uh, the film scan laser can directly fabricate uh, some functional uh, microcomponents uh, inside the glass material. Uh, the functional microcomponents uh, that can be fabricated uh, inside the glass uh, using the film scan laser uh, include the uh, micro-optical components, uh, such as the optical waveguide, uh, micro filters, uh, optical filters, uh, micro lens, uh, micro mirror, and uh, micro fluidics and uh, fluid control uh, micro components uh, such as the uh, uh, micro valve and uh, micro pump. And uh, these uh, functional micro components uh, can be easily integrated into a single glass chip uh, for uh, uh, realization uh, of the uh, uh, functional uh, biochips. Uh, the biomicrochips uh, are essentially uh, miniaturized laboratories into a single chip. 
uh, that can perform the uh, reaction, uh, detection, analysis, uh, separation, and the synthesis uh, of the biochemical materials uh, with the benefits uh, of the high sensitivity, uh, short analysis time, uh, low uh, regent consumption, and the low uh, waste production. And the uh, biomicrochips include the uh, uh, microfluidics, uh, optofluidics, uh, microreactors, uh, devices, uh, micrototal analytic anal system, and uh, so on. Uh, so, uh, for the fabrication uh, of the biomicrochips uh, using the uh, famous scan laser, uh, we are using uh, the uh, uh, photosensitive glass as a substrate. Uh, this glass is uh, commercially available uh, under the trade name of the Fortran uh, from the short glass. And uh, this glass is the uh, lithium uh, aluminum silicate glass uh, doped with the trace amounts of the uh, sodium, antimony, uh, silver, and the serum. And here uh, I show the uh, fabrication procedure uh, of the biochips uh, using this glass. Uh, namely, first, uh, we carry out uh, famous scan laser direct writing uh, to uh, write the three dimensional uh, latent images uh, inside this glass. Uh, after the uh, famous scan laser direct writing, uh, we employ the heat treatment at these conditions uh, to uh, develop the modified regions uh, at the laser exposed regions. Uh, by this uh, heat treatment, uh, Crystalline phase, crystalline phase of the uh, lithium metasilicate is grown at the laser export region. And this uh, grown uh, crystalline phase uh, of the lithium metasilicate has about uh, 50 times uh, larger etching rate uh, in the uh, diluted hydrophobic acid solution as compared with the uh, uh, non laser export regions. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, by the chemical wet etching uh, in the uh, diluted hydrophobic acid solution, uh, the modified regions, uh, namely the laser expo region, uh, can be selectively removed. As a result, uh, three dimensional hollow microstructures uh, can be formed uh, inside this, this glass. And uh, created uh, three dimensional micro, uh, hollow microstructures uh, can be utilized uh, for fabrication of the, not only the microfluid uh, but, uh, but also the uh, micro optical component and also the uh, uh, fluid control micro component. However, this uh, chemical wet etching process significantly roughens the etched surfaces, uh, which is not suitable for the uh, many uh, biochip applications. So, uh, to smooth the etched surfaces, uh, we employ the additional heat treatment after the chemical wet etching. And uh, this uh, additional heat treatment uh, can greatly uh, improve the uh, sm uh, smoothness of the glass surface uh, with a level uh, of the less than uh, one nanometer. And this view will show the uh, schematic illustration uh, of our famous scan laser three-dimensional micro-machining system uh, for fabrication of the biochips. Uh, we are using the uh, famous scan laser emitting uh, 1045 nanometer wavelengths and uh, 340 uh, famous scan pulse width at the 200 kilohertz uh, rotation rate. And then uh, the uh, photosensitive glass substrate is placed on the, uh, on the uh, XYZ stage uh, with a PC control uh, for the uh, uh, famous scan laser three-dimensional uh, micro, micro machining. And uh, here I summarize the uh, typical irradiation condition uh, of the uh, famous scan laser uh, for fabrication uh, of the biochip. So, uh, by using this uh, technique, uh, we have so far uh, succeeded in fabricating uh, the uh, three dimensional uh, glass, mi uh, three dimensional microfluid structures uh, inside the photosensitive glass. And here uh, I show the, uh, some examples. Uh, this is the uh, cross-shaped uh, microfluid channel uh, formed in, inside the uh, photosensitive glass. Uh, in this case, uh, the uh, straight uh, micro channel uh, with the width of the 45 micron and the length of the uh, 2.8 millimeters uh, were embedded uh, 300 micron below the surface. And here, uh, the uh, cross-sectional shape uh, of the uh, microfluid channel uh, formed inside the uh, glass uh, can be well controlled uh, by pro programming the uh, writing scheme uh, in the uh, film scan laser direct writing process. And uh, in this case, uh, we uh, fabricated like this cross-shaped uh, micro component uh, inside the uh, uh, hollow or microfluid chamber uh, uh, in the gl uh, glass substrate. And uh, this uh, microstructure is free from the substrate uh, inside this structure. And then uh, this uh, micro component uh, can be uh, rotated uh, inside a microfluid channel, like this. Uh, thus, uh, this uh, micro component uh, can act as a micro pump uh, to uh, control the uh, flow rate uh, of the liquid samples uh, in the microfluid dicks. 
And, uh, and uh, this technique, our tech, uh, the, the three-dimensional hollow microstructures uh, fabricated by our technique can be also used for uh, the fabrication of the, some kind of the micro optics, uh, such as the uh, uh, micro mirror and uh, micro lens uh, inside the glass. And uh, one of the advantages of our technique is the very easy integration uh, of the uh, uh, microfluidics with uh, some, uh, some optical components uh, for uh, fabrication uh, of the uh, optofluidics. Uh, in this case, uh, we tried to three-dimensionally integrate the uh, microfluid chamber uh, with the optical waveguide and also the uh, micro lenses uh, for the photonic biosensing. Uh, this uh, integrated biochip uh, showed a very excellent uh, performance in both the uh, fluorescence and uh, absorption measurements uh, of the liquid samples. Okay, so here I just showed uh, one example uh, of the uh, uh, fluorescence measurement uh, using the uh, integrated biochip. Uh, it's obvious uh, the uh, microchip integrated with uh, micro lens uh, showed the about uh, eight times higher sensitivity in the fluorescence measurement uh, as compared with that without the uh, uh, micro lens. And then, uh, as one of the applications uh, of uh, uh, this technique, uh, we proposed to use them, this biochip, uh, uh, for the uh, dynamic observation and the determination of the functions uh, of the microorganism. And we have already a, a successfully a demonstrated uh, some experiments uh, uh, as listed here. Uh, then there are such uh, biochips uh, for the uh, uh, investigation of the microorganism uh, has been termed uh, nano aquarium. Uh, okay, so here uh, I show the, uh, our first experiment uh, using the uh, nano aquarium, uh, which is the uh, three-dimensional uh, dynamic observation uh, of the Euglena's fragile movement. Uh, Euglena uh, is the uh, uh, unicellular uh, aquatic uh, microorganism uh, swimming at uh, at unexpected speed uh, from their body size. So uh, to, uh, in, to know how, the, uh, uh, how uh, Uglena can get such a strong driving force, uh, analy analyzing the three-dimensional movement uh, of the fragile is very important. Uh, then uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, nano atom, uh, which had a very simple microfluidic structure, uh, allows us to uh, observe the dy dynamic motion of the fragile very, very easily. Uh, furthermore, also by using this uh, nano aquarium, we succeeded in observing uh, the fragile motion uh, from the uh, front side. Oh, sorry. Uh, I show in this movie. Uh, this is the uh, slow motion video, and you can clearly observe the uh, motion of the fragile. And uh, in fact, uh, this is the first time that the, uh, such an image has been taken. Uh, as a result, uh, the uh, Nano aquarium enable us to three-dimensionally analyze uh, the uh, uh, ra very rapid motion of the fragile uh, of the Uglena. Uh, one of the other uh, experiments uh, using the uh, nano aquarium is the uh, investigation on the uh, foramen assemblage uh, to the ceiling root. Um, Foramen is the uh, uh, cyanobacteria. This is foramen, and. This uh, bacteria is uh, very useful for the uh, agriculture uh, because uh, foramen uh, can accelerate uh, the uh, growth uh, of the vegetables uh, by grinding and finally assembling to the seeding root in the soil. However, uh, the gr grinding mechanism was not unknown. And then uh, we tried to uh, use the nano aquarium to investigate the grinding mechanism. And uh, the microfluidics uh, integrated with the optical waveguides uh, identified uh, that the uh, carbon dioxide uh, secreted from the ceiling root uh, is the attractant uh, inducing the foramen assemblage. And also, uh, the uh, microfluidics integrated with uh, optical filters uh, revealed uh, that the light illumination is definitely necessary uh, for the uh, foramen grinding and then uh, determine the light intensity uh, necessary for the uh, foramen uh, grinding. Uh, we also uh, developed the technique uh, uh, which can perform the uh, space selective metallization uh, of the microfluidics. Uh, and the, uh, this process uh, consists of the uh, famous can laser direct light abrasion uh, inside the three dimensional microchannel uh, followed by the uh, electroless uh, metal plating. 
Uh, as a result, uh, the metal thin films uh, can be selectively deposited on the glass, uh, roughened by the uh, uh, laser abrasion uh, due, uh, due to the uh, anchor effect. And in this process, uh, metallization of the side wall uh, of the uh, microfluidic structure is a very crucial issue. Because actually, this is very uh, difficult. But uh, we then we adopt, adopted the volume scanning scheme as shown here uh, for the uh, uh, selective uh, for the uh, side wall metallization. Uh, then we succeeded in, in metallize, metallizing the uh, side wall like this. As a result, the uh, continuous uh, metal lines uh, can be formed from the inside uh, to the outside of the microfluid discs. This is very important uh, to uh, externally control the uh, uh, microelectric devices integrated in the glass microfluid discs. And then the, uh, this technique uh, was uh, applied uh, to fabricate a microreactor uh, by integrating the uh, microheater into the glass microfluid discs, uh, like this. And uh, this uh, uh, integrated biochip uh, can control the temperature of the reduced sample uh, in the microfluid discs. Uh, then the uh, uh, chemical reaction uh, in the microfluid discs uh, can be greatly enhanced. Uh, another interesting uh, application uh, uh, of this technique is the uh, 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 control uh, of the orientation of the urea uh, swimming in the three-dimensional microfluid discs. Uh, by integrating, the, in this case, the uh, microelectrodes into the glass microfluid discs. Uh, here, uh, manipulation of the biological samples, uh, such as the uh, uh, microorganisms and the biocells, is of great importance uh, for many bio biological applications, uh, such as the uh, detailed observation of the dynamics uh, of the microorganisms and also the uh, tissue engineering. Okay, so uh, as you can see from this movie, uh, eugenians are randomly swimming in the microfluidic channel uh, when the, uh, no electric, electric field is applied. On the other hand, uh, by applying the proper uh, AC voltage between the uh, two isolated uh, microelectrodes here and here, uh, the uh, uh, di uh, swimming direction uh, of the uh, urea is uh, oriented along the uh, electric field. Uh, here, uh, it's considered that the uh, orientation controlled by the uh, applying the AC uh, electric field uh, results from the uh, interaction uh, between the uh, dipole moments of the target sample, in this case, urea, uh, induced by the uh, uh, elect electric field and the uh, electric field itself. And uh, our technique uh, uh, can flexibly design uh, the number and the patterns uh, of the uh, microelectrodes uh, inside microfluid discs. Uh, then, uh, 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 direction of the uh, electric field uh, can be uh, uh, flexibly controlled. Uh, as a result, uh, orientation direction of the uh, microorganisms uh, can be very controlled, uh, as shown here. Okay, so I just, I show the uh, one movie. Uh, okay, first, the uh, electric field is applied to this direction. Then the uh, urea is swimming uh, uh, along the electric field direction. And now the uh, uh, electric field direction is changed to this direction. Uh, then uh, the uh, swimming direction is ch also changed accordingly. Uh, thus, the, uh, our technique uh, of the uh, famous can raise a three-dimensional uh, glass micromachining uh, uh, is a very attractive and a powerful tool for fabrication of the uh, functional uh, biomicrochips uh, because this technique has uh, some advantages uh, over the uh, conventional fabric fabrication methods uh, of the biochip. Uh, namely, uh, easy fabrication uh, of the three-dimensional microfluid discs uh, with the different structures uh, inside the glass uh, without the very complicated procedure uh, of the stacking and the bonding of the glass substrate. And also, uh, easy, easy incorporation of the micro-optical components and the functional uh, fluid control uh, micro-components uh, into the uh, three-dimensional glass microfluid discs uh, by a single continuous process. Uh, furthermore, easy integration of the other functional micro-components, uh, such as the uh, optical waveguides and the optical filters, uh, into the uh, three-dimensional microfluid discs uh, by additional uh, famous scan laser direct writing. However, uh, fabrication resolution uh, of this technique is uh, relatively low, uh, mostly due to the inclusion uh, of the chemical wet etching process. Uh, therefore, uh, it's still difficult to fabricate the uh, complicated three-dimensional structures uh, with the uh, micro and uh, nano size uh, in the uh, glass microfluid discs. In the meanwhile, 
uh, uh, scan laser two photon polymerization uh, can easily uh, fabricate the uh, uh, three dimensional uh, micro and nanopolymer structures, uh, even with the very, very complicated structures. Uh, in the two photon polymerization, uh, photocalor regime is used. Uh, photocalor regime is transparent uh, to the wavelengths uh, of the film scan laser used for this process. Uh, then the uh, two photon absorption uh, takes place only at the focus position, uh, and then the regime is cured uh, only at the focus position. Uh, by three-dimensional uh, uh, scanning, the focused film scan, uh, film scan laser beam uh, in the uh, photocular regime, uh, three-dimensional uh, polymer, micro, and nanostructures can be very easily uh, created, as shown here. Then, uh, to enhance the functionality uh, of the biochip, uh, we propose to combine our uh, three-dimensional glass micro machining technique with the two-photon polymerization. That means the uh, uh, subtractive and uh, additive manufacturing are successfully uh, carried out. Then we uh, uh, called uh, this uh, technique uh, hybrid uh, film scan laser processing. And here I show the uh, uh, fabrication procedure of the uh, uh, functional biochip uh, using this technique. Namely, first, uh, uh, three-dimensional uh, microfluidic structure is fabricated uh, inside the photosensitive glass uh, by the film scan laser direct writing uh, followed by the uh, uh, thermal treatment and uh, successful uh, chemical wet etching. Uh, uh, the uh, created uh, microfluidic structure is filled with the uh, 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 resin SU8. Uh, after the uh, pre-baking, uh, two-photon polymerization uh, using the uh, same film scan laser is uh, carried out. Uh, by developing the uh, 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 laser exploration, uh, Three-dimensional uh, polymer uh, micro and nanostructures uh, can be uh, created uh, inside uh, glass microfluidics. Uh, such an uh, integrated biochip uh, has, been, uh, has been termed uh, sip in a bottle biochip because uh, the uh, polymer micro nanostructure uh, is uh, fabricated uh, inside a uh, glass uh, afterward. And this technique was first uh, applied to uh, uh, introduce the uh, filt filtering functionalities into the uh, glass microfluidics. And in this case, uh, we if, uh, fab uh, fabricated uh, like this polymer structure, which had the, uh, had the arrays of the uh, holes with the diameter of the 5 micron. And then the, uh, this polymer microstructure was uh, integrated into the uh, glass microfluidics uh, embedded in the uh, substrate. Uh, to, uh, to uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, performance uh, of this integrated biochip, uh, microparticles uh, with the different diameters from the two to, two to 10 microns uh, were introduced into the uh, microfluidic channel with the water. So as you can see from these photos, uh, the microparticles uh, with the size, uh, of sizes of the two and the four microns uh, can go through the microfilter uh, because uh, their sizes are smaller uh, than the whole size formed in the uh, microfilter. On the other hand, the microparticles uh, with the sizes uh, right, uh, of the uh, uh, yeah, 6 and 8 and 10 microns are hindered uh, by the filter to pass. So uh, here I summarize the uh, filtering result uh, using this uh, microchip. Uh, you, can, you can see that the, uh, this integrated biochip can completely separate the uh, uh, microparticles with a size larger than the uh, uh, 5 microns. And here, uh, the size of the holes uh, formed in the uh, microfilters uh, can be changed uh, from, in this case, from the uh, 6.2 micron to the uh, 0.6 micron uh, by adjusting the uh, laser power uh, for the uh, two-photon polymeriza uh, polymerization process. Uh, therefore, different uh, size of the uh, microparticles, or the, even the uh, different size of the uh, biosamples, uh, can be separated uh, uh, by using the uh, uh, microfilters uh, having the uh, different size of the holes. Uh, next, uh, we try to uh, integrate the uh, uh, mixing functionalities uh, into the glass microfluidics. And then we fabricated like this uh, very complicated uh, uh, three dimensional structures uh, to uh, efficiently mix the different kinds of fluids in the microfluidics. And here uh, I show the uh, principle uh, of the uh, uh, mixing function uh, of this device, although they, uh, I don't explain the details here. And of course, uh, in this case, the, this microstructure was formed on the glass surface uh, for the uh, SEM observation. And then the uh, same structure was uh, integrated into the uh, Y-shaped uh, microfluidic channel 
uh, embedded in the agra substrate. Uh, then uh, we compare the uh, mixing performance uh, between the uh, uh, microfluid channel uh, integrated without and uh, with the uh, uh, micro, uh, mixers. Uh, the simple uh, microfluid channel uh, without the uh, micro mixer uh, creates the uh, laminar flow like this. Uh, usually, the uh, efficient mixing uh, of the uh, different kind of fluid in the simple microfluid channel is very, very difficult. Uh, therefore, the uh, efficient mixing uh, of the two or more kind of the fluid is a crucial issue uh, for the uh, biochip application. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, the uh, microfluid channel integrated with the uh, micro mixer uh, shows the very excellent mixing performance, uh, even in the very short uh, lengths. Uh, then the uh, same uh, uh, mixing, fun, uh, micro co mixing uh, components uh, was uh, integrated into uh, like this uh, three-dimensional uh, glass microfluidics. Uh, in this case, the micro mixer was in integrated here. Again, uh, this uh, micro component showed a very excellent uh, mixing performance as compared with that without the uh, uh, micro mixer. And this uh, integrated uh, biochip uh, was uh, uh, used as a micro reactor uh, to uh, synthesize the microfluoride uh, zinc oxide. Uh, for this uh, synthesis, uh, zinc nitrate uh, was introduced into the uh, upper inlet uh, for the uh, ammonia water into the lower inlet. Uh, then the, uh, each uh, solution can be efficiently mixed uh, uh, by the micromixer, and finally, a microflower like zinc oxide uh, can be synthesized in this uh, reaction chamber. And uh, this hybrid technique can also uh, create the, uh, some, some uh, micro-optics uh, inside the glass microfluidics uh, for uh, fabrication of the uh, optofluidics. And in this case, uh, we fabricated the uh, refractive uh, micro-lens uh, made on a polymer uh, in the uh, microfluid channel. And this kind of the uh, uh, optofluidics as a potential application of the, uh, this kind of the optofluidics uh, include the uh, bioimaging, uh, photonic biosensing, and cell detection, and so on. And then, as you can see from this uh, view graph, uh, the micro lens uh, integrated in the microfluid channel show the uh, uh, excellent ability in both the uh, uh, imaging and uh, focusing. And this uh, optofluidics uh, was uh, applied uh, for the uh, uh, cell detection. Uh, for the cell detection, uh, we use the uh, ugrena as the biosamples. And in this case, uh, the micro lens was integrated on the uh, uh, bottom surface uh, of the micro channel, uh, like this. And then, when the light is uh, incident from the bottom side of the uh, microchip, uh, the micro lens uh, can produce the focal spot uh, above the uh, microfluid channel. Here, uh, when the uh, uh, ugrena uh, passes above the uh, micro lens, uh, it significantly affects the uh, light intensity uh, at the uh, focal spot. As a result, uh, uh, by detecting the uh, time-dependent uh, variation uh, of the light intensity at the focal spot, uh, uh, we can uh, detect the uh, cell. Okay, so to detect the uh, uh, all cells, uh, uh, passing through the uh, uh, passing through in the microfluidic channel al uh, along the uh, uh, lateral direction, namely the width direction, uh, we uh, fabricated an array uh, of the se seven micro lenses uh, in the microfluidic channel, uh, like this. And then the, uh, uh, we introduced uh, sixty uh, ugrenas into the uh, microfluidic channel. And then the, uh, this fab uh, integrated uh, biochip. Uh, uh, succeeded in detecting uh, the uh, 56 uh, uh, intensity change in total uh, by using the uh, seven micro lenses, uh, which means the uh, success rate uh, of the uh, 93 percent. Uh, here, uh, some of the ugrenas uh, that could not be detected by this biochip uh, might uh, pass through uh, the border area uh, between the uh, two uh, adjacent uh, micro lenses here. Okay, so uh, to further uh, enhance the functionalities uh, of the uh, biomicrochips, our future direction is the uh, realization of the true three-dimensional uh, multi-layered uh, biochips. Uh, in the case of the uh, uh, silicon LSI, 
uh, to the uh, high density integration and acceleration of the uh, operating speed, uh, device uh, miniaturiz miniaturization is the uh, crucial issue. And the process rule uh, in the uh, silicon LSI manufacture uh, is uh, rapidly getting smaller and smaller uh, thanks to the uh, rapid advancement of the uh, lithography technology. And, then, and uh, now the uh, uh, process rule uh, is approaching to uh, less than 20 nanometer node. And however, uh, further uh, miniaturization uh, would bring about the, uh, uh, some uh, problems uh, such as the uh, technical issue, uh, cost issue, and also the degrees uh, of the uh, uh, reliability uh, and of the uh, uh, fabricated micro devices. Uh, as an alternative way, uh, recently a three-dimensional technology uh, has been attracting has been very uh, uh, has has been attracting the very much interest. And in the past, uh, fabrication of the multi-layered structures in a single silicon chip uh, was attempted. However, uh, this technique uh, was not uh, realized uh, due to the uh, uh, technological difficulties. And the current uh, three-dimensional technology in the silicon LSI manufacture uh, relies on the three-dimensional uh, assembly like this. Uh, on the other hand, our technique uh, of the uh, uh, fem hybrid femoscan laser uh, uh, technology uh, would, uh, has, has a, a great potential uh, to realize the uh, true three-dimensional uh, multi-layered uh, biochips integrated with uh, uh, some functionalities as illustrated here. As a, as a pre preliminary result, uh, we succeeded in fabricating the uh, four-layered uh, microfluid channel uh, embedded 200 micron, uh, 400 micron, 600 micron, and uh, at 100 micron uh, below the glass surface, respectively, and then uh, integrating the uh, polymer microstructure, uh, structures which are the uh, layer number of the one, two, three, and four uh, into the, uh, each uh, microfluidic channel. Okay, so here I summarize the, uh, uh, my talk. Uh, famous can read a three-dimensional glass micro machining is the uh, power two. Uh, to fabricate a three-dimensional microfluid disks and integrate the uh, micro-mechanics and uh, micro-optics. And uh, this technique is, is of great use uh, for fabrication of the optofluid disk and uh, Ravana chip devices. Uh, one of the interesting applications of the biochips uh, uh, we proposed is the uh, dynamic observation and the determination of the function of the uh, uh, my, uh, microorganisms. Uh, such biochips for the uh, uh, study in, of the uh, uh, microorganisms are termed uh, nano -acarium. And then, uh, to further increase the uh, functionalities of the uh, biomicrochips, uh, we propose a new strategy, uh, which is the uh, hybrid uh, femoscan laser processing. Uh, then, this uh, hybrid technique uh, allows us to integrate the three-dimensional polymer micro uh, components uh, such as the uh, micro lens, uh, micro filter, and uh, micro mixer uh, in the three dimensional gra uh, glass microfluid disks. And uh, our future direction uh, of this project uh, is the uh, realization of uh, true three dimensional multi layered biochips, uh, which would fulfill exceptional uh, functionalities uh, for the uh, biological research. So finally, uh, I'd like to uh, thank all of my uh, collaborators and also the uh, former and the current staff. Thank you for your kind attention.